Hey everyone, uh, I'm Tarek Umar, I'm a finance professor, and uh, today me and my students and I have been chatting about GameStop. As some of you may have been following the company too, uh, you might be interested in knowing maybe a little bit more about what's going on or, or discussing uh, with me some of the different potential explanations for what's going on, but let's just review quickly what, <laughs> what happened. So here I have uh, GameStop and its uh, chart, and you can see that uh, you know we have uh, seen the stock pop, for lack of a better words, from something around four dollars and sixty cents a share to now seventy six a share, and then even today, within the day, it reached up to one hundred and you know, sixty. It says probably here the high was about one hundred and fifty nine dollars, right? And <clears throat> if you look at the ten year plot, right, this is it went from pretty much a ten year low to a 10 year high in the space of a few days. Okay, so what could be going on? Was there a massive improvement in their fundamentals? Well, uh, GameStop obviously sells things that are related to uh, gaming. Uh, so it's not just video games, but also the equipment that's needed to, to play games. And that can get pretty technical, uh, but it's still a business that in general has been in a cyclical decline, as you can see from the chart leading up to the recent activity, generally uh, has been going down. And I don't think that trend is reversing. I do think that the pandemic has overall for the industry of gaming increased demand for, for equipment and therefore improved their sales. And as if you look at their transcript from the last quarter, they have uh, they have positive cash flows, which they didn't have in 2019, but they have now positive cash flows in 2020, and they're using that to pay down debt. So this is this has been a positive year for the company, but overall my assessment is that it's delaying the inevitable uh, decline rather than uh, any kind of permanent reversal. So uh, why is the stock jumping? You know, what's really puzzling is that actually there has been a short seller, uh, named, uh, which is Citron, that has been discussing the, the reasons for their short on the stock. And let's see, where did it go? Wow, all this is today. That's a lot of news for today, let's see. Yeah, <clears throat> so Sitchan highlights their downside case. So <clears throat> he actually made a YouTube video that you should check out describing uh, why they were short the stock, and they made this on Thursday last week, January 21st, and on Friday the stock didn't go down, like typically happens uh, when a short seller announces a short thesis, but rather goes up, and or went up quite a lot, over 50%. So some sophisticated investors out there are giving a, a case to short. Let's see what else might be going on. Let's go to the, actually I've already loaded it for you guys, so if we go to the insiders, trading activity, you can see here that in the last few days, the insiders have been taking advantage of the increase, right, from about $5, and or by January 19th, you know, it was around 40 already, and now it will hit 160 uh, today, and and you can see that they're selling, and they're selling re uh, fairly sizable parts of their portfolio, and my prediction would be that if in the next few days we're going to see some form fours come out for additional sales because uh, again I don't think I, I don't think that there's any evidence that uh, of a fundamental improvement that would justify this price uh, price change so dramatically you know what's what is a bit surprising to me and maybe you guys have some thoughts on this below is that you know one 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 potential explanation Right, is it's a short squeeze uh, where there was a high short interest. So over, oh, they have 65 million shares outstanding, and over 65 million shares were short as of December 15th. You can you can uh, search for short interest, uh, and I just noticed they look at the volume here. It's 176 million shares, so that's uh, multiples of the actual shares outstanding. And you've seen this in other situations, like with Plug and other companies, where uh, they get so much attention actually from the markets uh, that you can you see this phenomenon where they trade more than their shares outstanding, which is not typical. <laughs> Usually, you know, one percent, two percent, or even less of 
of, of the shares outstanding trade in a day. Um, so this is all worrisome, right? Someone is gonna be losing uh, badly, right? So short sellers are obviously losing if they were betting that the stock was gonna fall because it has instead gone up dramatically. And with shorting, you can lose an unlimited amount. So some of the, the shorts are probably in pain and may have to be cutting their losses, right? And that could be contributing to the run-up. But probably what also is going on is that there has been a, a deluge of momentum traders here who are just trading on the prediction that it's gonna go up. And if there's enough of a coordination, right, where actually that video from Citron could have provided some of that coordination, ironically, that uh, if the momentum traders are all piling in and there were some Reddit blogs that could may have also added to the to this coordination, then you have a uh, even greater likelihood potential potentially of of seeing the short squeeze. You can see that the price was moving up already prior to that, and I think that you know should that was that sort of puzzles me a little bit is that you have in December fifteenth you have this dramatically high short interest. But you also have very good information about the fact that the sales for gaming are, are, are doing quite well and improving. And actually, what may have contributed to this coordination is that in, in January it came out that December sales of video gaming consoles and gaming equipment um, hit a record. That's the whole industry. It's not just GameStop, but it's probably true that GameStop's revenues and profits also did quite were quite high. In December and so that news comes out with a little bit of a lag right so in January there was some news like that and that could have contributed to shorts wanting to to reduce their position so what could ha what could be going on right is that there's a temporary improvement in the fundamentals because of the pandemic and that became more obvious when this news comes out in January about overall industry sales shorts start to unwind longs get more interested maybe because of the high short interest. And, and then there's this coordination, right, that happens, this is after the news event, right, that this is all going on. Um, the, well, the shorts start to, uh, start to unwind, but that's pushing up, there's not a lot of shares for them to buy, and that's pushing up the, uh, the stock price. And then you start to have this run concern, right? The, if I don't buy now and I let someone else buy first, then I suffer, right? Because the price goes up and I, I'm a short and I'm gonna lose. So I then have an incentive to buy first. And if there's enough of that incentive, you sort of have a run, right? Instead of a bank run, right? You have a, a run out of the stock by the short sellers, which is how a short squeeze can work. And again, aggravating that incentive could be the fact that the, you know, Citron actually put out a YouTube video arguing the case for why it, it should go down right? But then that is a coordination event, right? And and the Reddit blog and others uh, have got a lot of attention on the name. Uh, so anyway, this this is going to cause some losses for the short sellers. and But it's also, I think, attracted a number of momentum traders. And that is a very dangerous game to play. You're betting that someone else is going to be a little bit late to the game or a sucker, right? They see it on, uh, on the news and then they come and they think they can make some money a gambling kind of uh, motivation, but that is you know, this is not going to the stock price is not going to stay up here. I'm surprised it stayed up here actually today. I was predicting an implosion, but you can see on Google Trends if you look for searches related to the ticker symbol of uh, of GameStop, you can see that the the search interest has exploded, and this is people who are googling. <laughs> Uh, the ticker symbol. Those are not the sophisticated investors. These are going to be the more mom and pop retail investors, who are who are likely the ones who don't understand what's going on and, and buying buying just because there's activity. So it's a very interesting case study. I, I, I want to keep following it. I may update. I may provide another video. But if you have any comments on the name, yeah, I'm happy to discuss it uh, below. And please subscribe if you are more if you're interested in seeing other uh, opinions of opinion pieces on, on company names. I have I made one on Diana Shipping, for example, doing a tender offer. I'm happy to do more of them. Uh, alert me if you see something that would be interesting to discuss. Uh, and I see you guys.